Are you a fan of formal nights or do you think the cruises should scrap them? Absolutely a fan of the formal nights. Would you like the crew to walk around in a pair of jeans and a pair of flip-flops, you know, on a t-shirt? You know, no you wouldn't. All ships will say what the dress code is. Yeah. So they'll say that there's two formal nights, well usually with the first night, the first day at sea, and then the second, uh, the last time is before the end of the cruise, formal nights. That's it. It's, you're told. And people love to dress up, the vast majority. You will get the obvious comment, these jeans cost more than that uh, dinner suit costs, why should I be allowed to wear that? That's not the rule, that's not what it's about. It's about looking smart, looking, and being together as a, a dress code. Uh, sadly, uh, some people just like to go against the grain and create a bit of a scene, a bit of a fuss. And if you don't like dressing up, go on a cruise ship that doesn't dress up. There are plenty of them out there. Do you think cruise lines should introduce more than two formal nights? Not everybody wants to dress up. And nowadays with flying restrictions, how are you going to get uh, six ball gowns into your suitcase and you're flying down to wherever it is to join the ship? So there, there has to be a balance somewhere. So I think two's, two is absolutely plenty and it's enough for everybody.